Hi students, we are going to uh, discuss uh, Code of Ethics by the CMA Philippines and um, what are the principles and standards. So we would be looking at the principles and standards. So let's start with the principles. And what are the principles that uh, we need to, um, it's actually what? Our hope. Okay. So, if our hope are the principles, then uh, how about the R? R would be responsibility of which? It would actually be uh, detailing it here. No? Uh, you have different items. So let's start with the hope. Okay? And, and when we say honesty, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Honest is being truthful. No? In spite of uh, challenges, in spite of pressure, uh, kumbaga class ay bawal lang sinungaling. Diba? Uh, kahit white lie class. Mm. Fairness would talk about being just. Wala kang favorite. Wala kang kinikilingan. No? Fairness would be uh, being uh, neutral and just uh, adhere to your uh, objectives uh, your vision, mission, goals. And when you say objectivity, actually, this is very much related to objectivity. Because when you say being objective, uh, it's the same as you don't lean on a particular uh, person or you, you are not leaning towards uh, any other um, ano yun? pressures. Ganon. Uh, being objective is uh, ganon din yan pag fairness you 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 are you are being just no or objective you are actually neutral okay now how about the responsibility so these are your responsibility the first one is competence and competence is of two areas. Uh, you are looking at your technical capabilities, okay? And the other one is technical in terms of your um, uh, profession, okay? And when you talk about technical in terms of your profession, this would be looking at uh, how well you can... Uh, you are looking at your behavior. You are looking at your um, uh, how are you going to provide services. Okay, this one would look at your uh, your educational uh, background when you talk about competence. So, ano yung mga areas ng competence? Patuloy ka bang nag uh, pa? professional development no do sa pagdating sa educational needs yung isa naman competence in terms of uh, your providing services that is you are looking at uh, how well you are going to uh, provide your services which would look into experience para bang yung ano mo ay IQ at saka EQ de ba yan what else? Let's take a look at the other uh, yan, or another C. Diba? When When you say confidentiality, since you're going to have client, it's between you. No? Hindi yung kinukwento mo kung ano yung nangyari dun sa pinrovide mo na services. And, and you have to remember the four key aspect, no? Kita nyo, class. 
the only time that you're going to make disclosure if you are legally required. No? And uh, you, you take note of number two, relevant parties regarding appropriate use of confidential and inform all relevant parties. Relevant parties would to look into um, the or your, your organization itself because you're going to be a team normally if you would provide services. No? Uh, and uh, definitely the organization will keep it confidential because you would protect your, your interests. You're, you're the one with whom you have provided your services. But it's actually your team that would form part of relevant parties. Okay? And take note, monitor yung kasama mo dun sa team. And when you say unethical, illegal, unethical would be, yun yung sa tao, yung, alam mo yun, kinichismis niya, or kinukwento niya kahit hindi naman dapat. Diba? Uh, illegal would be, uh, if, if let's say, you, kaibahan kasi nitong dalawa na to, yung unethical at illegal, Pareha silang hindi maganda ginawa mo. Pero, ang unethical kasi, wala kang uh, ginawa na against the law. Unlike pag sinabing illegal, against the law yung ginawa mo. Diba? Okay. So, after the two C's, we have the letter I, which would be integrity. So, we have competence, confidentiality, and integrity. Integrity would be related to to being honest, being, uh, uh, you know, fair and being objective. Why? Why that would be related? Because this one is, uh, you are actually a very reliable person. Diba? You are a respectful person. Because you are very trustworthy. Diba? And integrity should, should, should not only be... Uh, alam, yung, yung hindi lang sa gawa, pati sa in appearances. Diba? Uh, what do we mean by integrity? Hindi lang... Uh, sa gawa kundi pati dun sa in appearances kasi um, dapat yung halimbawa yung mga sa client mo uh, you should know when uh, not to uh, interfere or let's say uh, yeah, may interfere di ba minsan you are too familiar too friendly uh, with your client eh Sometimes your your integrity might be questioned pagka yung you are too friendly marang ganon with your client kasi you have to uh, show um, that uh, there there's actually uh, a, 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 in terms of providing your your services there, there's actually uh, a, a division no um, dapat pala niya natin gamitin yung division but you should always try to um, mi minimize no this one your conflict of interest okay ano yung mga conflict ano mga sample niya na minimize conflict of interest uh, this is directly related yung sa mga being part of uh, board of directors um uh, Kasi tayo, as a certified management accountant, we are providing services, di ba? So, yun, you should minimize showing or being part of the organization activities. Unless otherwise, you are, it is uh, related to the, to the services that you are providing. Okay? And... Why regularly communicate? Because you would like to avoid conflict of interest. No? Kita nyo naman, class, oh. Engaging in any conduct that would prejudice the duty ethically. Ito yung uh, joining personal activities. Ba? Or even if 
related to office work but it is showing uh, too much familiarity with with the client diba um itong huli oh that will discredit the profession um this one would be uh, looking at being unethical as well no credibility it's it's somehow related also hindi niyo napansin it's interrelated kasi yung word na integrity you have to be credible but this one has uh, different areas of concern di ba so tingnan natin if you take a look at uh, credibility this would timona it talks about fair, fairness and objectivity in your uh, code of ethics diba? and as always it's about communication and disclosing because if if you are in good faith you don't worry too much that what you're going to uh, somehow communicate and disclose will uh, somehow in the best interest of those who are involved no mm -mm. And um, this this talks about what? But but nga ba merong credibility? Kasi tingnan nyo kung yung sinabi ko. Oh. Uh, you would talk about relevant information. For what? Para dun sa user, makagawa sila ng kanilang decision. No? And kasi you made, it made mention of timeliness. Why? Kasi timeliness is one factor of being relevant information or or factor of relevance okay and what would you do if there are resolution or rather not if there is an ethical conflict rather then you have to make ways in order for it to be resolved okay and how it can be resolved yan when there are issues in the application of standards Oh, ayan. Usapin mo yung boss mo. Ngayon, kung hindi pa rin kayo nakapag-agree. O, oh, next management level. Para bang sa BA, section head, tapos department chair, tapos dean. O, oh, yun yung mga management level na sinasabi. Kasi, man, pwede bang mag-jump? It can be construed as unethical. Diba? Kasi you have to go through the process. And, Oh, eto na isa. Outside the organization na to. Ano yan? Ayan o. CMA Philippines Ethics Committee. And you have to initiate it, no? Uh, with the with, uh, discussion on CM, with, with CMA Philippines. Okay. So, ano na yung last resort natin, class? Eto na. Ayan. Uh, consult with your attorney. Okay? So, ito, organization ninyo, and then CMA, mag-consult ka, and then uh, sa lawyer na. Okay? Okay. So, we have how many C's? Parang daming C's, no? O, sige nga. Sabihin nyo nga. O, ano yan? Hmm? Ang dami ng C eh. Kasi dito may C pa dito eh. Diba? Oh. Can you remember? You have competence, credibility, integrity, o oh, ano pa, kulang pa tayo ng isang ibang C. Diba? And how are we going to resolve your Uh, yan, resolution of the ethical conflict. Okay? And what, why do we need to communicate information fairly? Because you have to be credible and maintain integrity and confidentiality as well as competence. So, you have you have your diba? Oh, ulit na ulit. Diba? You have competence, confidentiality, credibility, integrity, 
which they are interrelated. Diba? Your treasies, no? I treasies. Okay, thank you. I hope um, you uh, learn something out of the uh, CMA Philippines um, Code of Ethics, which will be our code with the our hope, okay? And our hope is I three cis, okay? So that's our hope, the I three cis in the code of ethics of CMA. Thank you and good day.